begin your message with a puzzle. How could it possibly be that even though we've only been in business for a year and a half, we, our sales have skyrocketed compared to our competitors. What could it be about us? Now you've got your audience leaning in to the next thing you say, which is the strength of your message. Now they, in order to solve the mystery, and we all want to solve mysteries, we, there's this human tendency called need for closure. We need to closure on the questions that are confronting us. To get that closure, they have to pay attention to your message in order to solve the mystery. I learned how to do this in my classroom. I, when I saw the power of mystery stories, I started at the beginning of every lecture. Uh, I would start with a, a mystery. I would say, "How? I'm going to give you something that is puzzling on its face. If you listen to the rest of this lecture here in class, at the end of the class, you will be able to solve this mystery. Eric, typically, five minutes before the end of every class, I see the same thing happening among my students. They start zipping up their backpacks, they start putting away their pens, they start closing up their laptops, they're, they're, they're poised, it's almost on the starting line, ready for the bell to ring. None of that happened when I began with a mystery. And so now, this is one of the things I try to do at the beginning of every major section of the books I write. I begin with a mystery, and no one has noticed it. No one has noticed that I use that particular device, because the mystery pulls, grabs people by the collar and pulls them into the story. They're not thinking about devices. They're thinking about the answer, the inf what, what information do I need to get me to this answer? And if we arrange it correctly, the information they need is about the strengths of your case. That's what solves the mystery. Well, well it worked on